smoke cleared, and Peter saw what at first seemed to be three huge bright wax candles in the middle of the marketplace that suddenly, as if a lens had been sharpened in front of him, focused themselves into three pillars of flame. At each pillar, a tall wooden shaft was surrounded at the base with bales of hay and dry twigs burning furiously, and there was something tied to each of those shafts, something black and greasy and silent as the night, something that the flames licked at languidly, having spent their energy, and now contenting themselves with the twigs and hay at this sooty dead thing's feet. Each black figure had its mouth open in a final hell-wrenching scream, and it was now as he looked, as his eyes and brain locked onto these three ghastly burned apparitions, that Peter was able to pick up a detail here and there, a wisp of his mother's frock turning in the flame, his father's working pants with her characteristic bagginess, his grandmother's shawl thrown around her head, still held proudly high. Each was tied from behind. Each had suffered unimaginably. 